What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and a little more Flames War action here. So it's been a minute since we had something for our Italians and we were out and about at a store recently and um, saw these and decided to pick them up just because I don't think we had these uh, yet and just kind of round out a little bit of our anti-tank ability here for our Italian forces for mid-war. So we decided to pick these bad boys up. So this is the 40 47mm anti-tank platoon for the Italians. We're going to get this open for you guys and sort it out and we'll take a look at what's inside. Alrighty guys, we're back and we got everything opened up here for our 47mm anti-tank platoon for the Italians. So we'll start off, obviously we got our bases, we get our die here for the 8 million bayonets. Our plastic crew here. Again, good stuff, nice and easy, and it really not much, if anything, in the way of cleanup needed. So again, we get two sprues of that, so again, four different guns for dudes per gun here. The weapon itself, pretty simple affair as far as assembly is concerned. Basically we got the gun, the trailer for it, the wheels, and then some ammo boxes for decoration on the base. So again, overall real simple affair here. Nice and easy to get those up and running. And then we get two cards, basically. So what do we got here? So they're confident on a 4-up, Avanti, Follow Me, Determined Rally, um, all that so there. Skill level, again, just depending on if we do get them to that uh, that veteran level. Heavy Weapon Assault, they're hit on 4s, 3-up infantry save. So the gun itself... Not all that special, unfortunately. So we're not going to threaten, like, real tanks with this, at least from the front, right? Only AT-6. does reach up to 24, which is pretty decent. has heat, um, but certainly going to shred lighter things, and, you know, we can threaten some things from the sides and rear as well if we happen to get lucky there. So halted rate of fire 2, 1, if moving. Seems like a pretty generous move for these guys with 8. But again, it's been a minute since we've looked at some of the things here for our mid-war flames. And then we get three different versions here, or three different uh, sizes that we can go for. Two, three, or four guns, and from four to six and eight points respectively there. So, you know, if we go with all four here from the box set, uh, we're going to take us, you know, eight points. And if we're sitting still, that's um, eight shots against whatever's coming our way. So not terrible overall, but again, that AT-6 is going to limit us as to what we can engage, again, certainly from the front. But with these guys' seeming ability to move fairly decently here, we might even be able to get into some good positions where we can threaten side shots against things. And again, heat, armor not increased for ranges over 16, and then heavy weapon, we can't charge into contact, as if we would really want to, right? If things are, you know, if, if, if melee combat's happening with these guys, something's gone wrong, and you know, they're probably not going to be long for the tabletop. So that being said, guys, let us know what you think of these guys as an option, as a viable unit for your mid-war Italians. Obviously, we have other options overall for anti-tank work, and certainly heavier anti-tank work. You know, we have access to 88s from the Germans. We have our wonderful, and the name is escaping me right now, um, uh, vehicle that has things like the 90 millimeter Lancia or something like that, the, the thing that's on like a truck with... Um, uh, like stabilizers or something on the back, and then it's got that big rotating uh, gun. Um, but I know that one's another hard hitter. So, you know, we have that as well for our sort of heavy-duty anti-tank action in the list. That being said, you know, do you bother running these at all? Um, how do you incorporate them in your force? What size do you typically, um, size of platoon do you typically field them as? And then what are some ways that you employ them? So hit us up in the comments there, guys. Um, you know, this more or less, we're basically wrapped up with the, everything we need for the Italians. I think the only thing we still at some point will pick up is just some of the anti-air um, vehicles there. But other than that, we're basically ready to go. We're just getting things primed up and then running through some paint marathons here to get everything taken care of. So let us know in the comments, guys. Like and subscribe. We'll have more flames coming for you soon, and we'll be back. Take care.